of Iran. On July 7, 1980, three armed and masked men raided the town's Bank of Ireland and left with £41,000. When their getaway car was intercepted by Gardaí, one of the raiders jumped out and sprayed the patrol car with bullets, instantly killing Garda Henry Byrne. During a further exchange of gunfire, Detective John Morley was also fatally wounded. Both men were married with children, and their deaths caused public outrage. The three alleged raiders, Peter Pringle, Patrick McCann, and Colm O'Shea, were captured and sent for trial here at the Special Criminal Court in Dublin. On November 27, 1980, a packed court waited to hear the verdicts. McCann, Pringle, and O'Shea stood in the dock as the judges filed in. The Chief Justice delivered the verdict. The men were guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. In the public gallery, there was a hushed silence. In the dock, two of the men smiled and whispered to each other. The death sentence can, of course, be appealed to a higher court. If such an appeal fails, then it's up to the government. They can advise the president to commute the sentence to penal servitude for life, or they can decide to let the law take its course. Their executions were fixed for the 19th of December, 1980, less than three weeks away. The convicted killers would spend their final days on death row in Port Leash Prison. Prison officer Noel Tuhi was assigned to guard them. <coughs> Not long after that, there was a guard who murdered in Wexford, and there was, there was a guy arrested for that. So four eventually we had charged with capital murder and found guilty and sentenced to hang. Part of their conditions was that they had to be kept uh, away from the other prisoners, they had to be kept in isolation. But also part of it was the two officers had to watch them 24 hours a day. You had four guys sleeping in the one cell, and you had eight officers in there as well. But eventually they moved the officers out so you could observe them from a separate room. And also tradition was they took one bottle of Guinness a night. Now whether they kept it for two nights and had a real sing song, I don't know. Pringle, McCann and O'Shea appealed their sentences and got a stay of execution. But six months later, the Court of Criminal Appeal rejected their cases and set a new date for the execution the 8th of June, 1981. The shadow of the noose still hung over them. There are no tensions rose. You can imagine four people living in, the, in one room, four men living in one room, with no contact with their, their comrades or their friends or anything else, you know what I mean? It was, it, it, got, it got very tense at times. It didn't mean anything to us at the time, because that's what you did. You're a prison officer, brought to each prison, you keep them in and that's what you did. Five days after the second sentence of death, President Patrick Hillary commuted the sentences to 40 years penal servitude with no chance of parole. In 1995, Pringle's conviction was overturned and he was released. McCann and O'Shea are still serving their time in Port Leash Prison. We never believed that they were actually going to carry out the sentence, but for a long, long time that was the situation in Port Leash Prison, so I can actually say I was on death row with prisoners. In 1990, capital punishment was taken off the statute books and death row was abolished.